Sarah. Sean. Is this your money in here? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna put it away somewhere safe for you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, don't do it. No! Oh, call someone! Oh, 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 oh. Can you aim this camera at me real quick? No. Can you just like grab the camera and then put it in your hands? And, like, oh, why aren't you aiming it at me? You're aiming in a completely different direction. My finger is... <laughs> Have you used the camera before, Sarah Dici? It's like, I feel like it's not aimed in our direction. Hey babe, go. I do not say, oh, welcome to another video. This is, this is like extremely heavy for me. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna go skateboard. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're going to the most forbidden skate spots in all of New York City. I hope you enjoy this video that's coming out today. How's that, babe? You could have at least made the bed. You, how about you make the bed? Do you want me to come in there? I don't, I don't want to do nothing. Okay. All right, I'll make the bed. Okay, we finally made it outside and we are in Times Square, beautiful New York City. We're heading to the first skate spot, which is about eight blocks away or so, but with an electric skateboard that takes like 12 seconds. Okay, so here's the reason these spots are a bust, and I'm already sort of around the security guards for the first spot, but on this app, Skate Savant, you can look up skate spots via the city, and this right here, I just saw it, is called Forbidden Banks, ironically, and if you look, it has a five police officer face scram factor, which I've been to spots a lot of times via this app with two scram factors and gotten kicked out pretty quickly, so it's basically a, you have to go through, try to get a trick, one try probably, and that's it. So I'm gonna set up my long lens, put my camera across the street, and see if I can do literally one trick or just even ride the bank. So all the spots around this area are all kind of like this. So the goal is to skate four or five of the most forbidden skate spots in New York City in like a two block radius. So here we go. a single whiff of anyone who said or wanted to do anything, so I'm gonna go back up the street. This is the first time for everything. I didn't actually get kicked out. I tried those two tricks and someone walked out and was like, yo, the security guards are talking about you inside. I would just recommend you dip out unless you wanna get kicked out. Which at first I was like, I'm cool with that, but you know what? Why not just let them be? Let them do their thing. So apparently right here, there's two more huge bus spots. Oh, I see one already. Wow, okay, all right, here we go. Okay, this is gonna be the same thing, so this is directly in front of a glass window, so everyone inside can see. Oh, and there's people on it. So for a spot like this, I just want to do a drive-by, quick manual, land it, and dip out. But I also really don't want to bother the lady sitting on it, so I feel like I should wait until she stands up. And the second she does, one manual, or even just ollie on right off, and we're dips at Bird Gang. All right, I'm sorry. I can't be nice enough to wait. She's not moving, and we have to go. Here we go. What the lady's face look like? Was she mad? I'm heading out. Yeah, I'm heading out for right, sure. Thanks. I just want to do a drive through. All right, cool. All right, there's one directly across the street as well. Okay, so this one is going to be mostly GoPro, but there's a ton of people sitting on the ledge. But there's this little out ledge where nobody's sitting on. So I'm going to aim this camera at that ledge and then just try to cruise around and skate some of it. I don't know. I'm trying my best. Here we go. Thing was amazing. Honestly, I lasted kind of long. That sounds weird. My GoPro died, by the way, so we're gonna have to switch up to just using this camera. Which might be kind of difficult, but more GoPro batteries next time, I would say. That's up. 
Okay, so far that's the longest we've lasted, but I'm gonna go back to the China banks. Probably not to skate because they were already about to kick me out, but there's a spot right down the street that apparently is a five to six bus factor as well. And you know what? We might even just see if we can level up a community. And by no way, I mean seriously, there's no way. There's this spot right here. You can ride down the bank. You can even skate the handrails, which I've seen people do like Jake Johnson. <laughs> I'm also pretty sure that the same guy ollied into this bank right here and rode off. But if I were to do anything right now, it would be probably ride down the bank and then land on the sidewalk. But if you ride down this bank, you literally land right here and go immediately into this car. And that's just, I'm not, you know, I don't know. I think it's so funny that most places have no skateboarding, no rollerblading, no biking, no scootering, any of that stuff. This one is just straight up like, yo, we know it's you skater boys. You stay out of here. And I'm like, okay, of course, I'm sorry. God, if I had time to skate this, so look how sick this would be. Like you can slide the bank you can take you can skate the top oh so when I go right there okay gotcha sorry about that so I literally just got busted by motion sensors if you see right here that connects to that over there if you pass this line then they detect you and immediately kick you out which I almost just did again with my arm pulling the camera out one for the road no skating Gotcha. No worries. So a little update. This building right here and the security behind it also watch over all this stuff right here. So, bus factor, Optimus Prime. Transition to the home. I want to focus on working today. I know that's not as interesting for a YouTube video, but I've been excited about these daily vlogs because I get to showcase kind of everything, but every day, these to-do lists need to get done. And on it, only two of the things are go skate spots and have fun and do that stuff. And it's so perfect outside that I should be skating more, but Sarah and I, food in just a second, and working on this website launch that I'm doing uh, very soon. So lots of other stuff in life that I want to work on and expand. You can buy squarespacecode.com slash Sarah. Anyways, there's just so much because I'm trying to build this thing into this big thing that kind of is just this thing. Totally made sense. But the funny thing is in weather like this, you want to be outside enjoying it, but we have a pretty cool apartment where you can just stare directly out at Beautiful buildings. So you're just getting the whole feeling of being outside in New York, but you get to sit in the comfort of an apartment. So I'm gonna say here and do what I do, okay? <laughs> What's up, Tish? It's your boy Josh. We out here. Uh... Welcome to my disgusting office. I'm sitting here uploading a video, which is awesome because the other day a video didn't get uploaded because I freaking left my hard drive at my office. But I have to clean as much as I possibly can in this little space. I want to clear most of this out. I'm not a minimalist, but I definitely have to have that mentality because I'm becoming a hoarder lately. But a little sneak peek on life. There might not be that much of a reason to do too much work on this side. Keep up with that. You'll see what that's about. But for now, uploading video, working. Sarah's gonna come out here. We're gonna hang out a little bit and then I'm gonna be moving. It went from 4.30 to currently, what, 8.30? Yeah. And now we're about to get dinner. We just spent the entire time cleaning around this here room and look how ridiculous it still looks. Sarah's so side looks great, actually. Yeah. Should you tell them what we're doing tomorrow? Oh, I told them that I would save it for another time. A little anticipation with the whole plan. Yeah, with the whole plan with what's going on with the, our space and everything is, uh, it's exciting. There's a lot of, you know, whatever. We, you know, we've been doing things that we don't showcase on YouTube as much as we probably should. But anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up once we get home because my brain has shut off completely and I need food in my belly and all around it. Food in your belly, food in your belly, food in your belly. Copyright, Sarah Dici. If you try to use that song, I will literally kill me. And it is the next morning. Guys, I totally forgot to finish the video last night, but I wanted to say thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And also, I want to talk a little bit about this comment that I got the other day. The whole consensus of it was that maybe if I tried some other videos rather than just skateboard content, and I totally agree. The idea since I've started this channel is to sort of push the idea of skateboarding as much as I can, but I've always wanted to incorporate the rest of my life. And that's why I showcase so much of my day so that I can show all the other aspects of trying to grow as a human being rather than just focusing fo how do you <clears throat> focusing on one thing, skateboarding. And with YouTube, as much as I love making videos about skating, I have literally made 800 or something like that. Some crazy amount of videos all about skateboarding, all about the knowledge that I've acquired through 17 years of doing so, but 
I will be rolling out different sort of ideas on this channel, different concepts and different things, and a lot of it will be very New York based. So crazy things in New York that I discover, weird things that I explore, just certain topics that have to do with this city itself. So if you are interested in that, let me know down below. I can't speak. For me, it's always nerve wracking to mess with something that might be working, but I'm always the person who talks about taking risk and making new paths for yourself. And for me, I feel like that would be a good way to start providing a new path, paving a new path. Anyways, trying to keep it ending short, I'm just gonna leave it at that. And thank you guys for tuning in, for watching these videos. I hope you have enjoyed today. And uh, yeah, it was such a fun, fun time. And then this is the next day and tune in for this video because we are gonna go do some mad exploring and big news about our office situation that I mentioned. Mm, I mm, can't go super into detail, but today we're gonna get farther along in that topic. Guys, I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Love you so much, progress daily, and keep killing it! Yeah.